In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a win-loss sparkline. The difference between a sparkline and a win-loss sparkline is that with a win-loss sparkline, we're only trying to determine if a value is positive or negative. In this example here, we're looking at NBA regular season results for each team for the entire 2023-24 season. Every bar that goes up represents a win, and every bar that goes down represents a loss. Now what we're going to build in this tip is this visualization. This is looking at monthly profitability for each subcategory. So every bar that goes up represents a month that was profitable, and every bar that goes down represents a month that is unprofitable. For example, with appliances, there were 38 months that were profitable, 10 months that were unprofitable, meaning that 79% of the months were profitable. Here's how you do it. I'm connected to Superstore Sales. I'm going to start by dragging subcategory to the rows. I'm going to right click and drag order date to the columns and choose continuous months. Click on OK. I'm going to create a new calculated field and let's call this our win loss. We're going to use the sign function here because it returns a value of minus one if it's a negative value or positive one if it's a positive value. So we're going to start with sign, but then we need to look at the total profit for each month. So that'll be represented by the sum of profit. Click on OK. If I drag that to the rows, Tableau automatically gives us a line, but we can change the mark type to a bar. And you can see things already starting to come together. Let's drag the win loss to the color, right click the field on the color shelf, and we're going to make it discrete so that we only get two colors. Edit our color shelf, and let's make the positives blue and the negatives red. Click on OK. And then I'm also going to add an outline. Click on the color shelf in the borders, choose white. Now we want to shrink this up to make it look like a spark line. I'm going to grab the right hand side and drag it over until it's nice and small. There we go, that looks pretty good. And then we can shrink the space between the rows by dragging our up down arrow up. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. So now we've created our win-loss spark line, but we want to add in those two columns that I showed you earlier. One for the total number of months that are profitable, another one for the total months that are unprofitable, and then the overall percentage. Okay, so to do that, let's create a new calculated field. Let's call this winning marks. Here, I'm going to look at the window sum, and I'm going to use an if statement. So if my win-loss is equal to 1, then I want to return the value of 1. Else, 0, end. So that's saying if the value is positive, return a 1. Otherwise, return a 0. And then I'm going to add up the 1s. Click on OK. And then right-click that field and make it discrete. That way, we can add it to our rows. Drag it to our rows. And we can see we now have 48, 38, etc. If I go back over here, we see those numbers match. Now we need to do our negative marks. Right click on the winning mark calculation and duplicate. Edit the copy. And let's call this losing marks. And this time we want to say the win loss is equal to minus one. That's all we need to change. Click on OK. And drag losing marks to the right of winning marks on the rows. And there we go. We're getting pretty close. Now we want to compute that percentage. Create a new calculated field. Let's call this our winning percent. We're going to take the number of winning marks and we're going to divide that by bracket winning marks plus losing marks. So that's going to give us the total. Click on OK. Right click on that field, go to default properties, and then number format. We want this to be represented as a percentage. Click on percentage and then zero decimals. Click on OK. Right click on winning percentage again, and we want to make it discrete so that we can put it on the rows. Drag winning percentage to the rows, and there we go. We now have our winning percentage for each subcategory. So for appliances, 79% of our months were profitable. From here, it's cleanup. Right click on any of the headers and choose hide field labels for rows. 
right click on the winning mark field and choose format. And I want these to match the colors of the bars. So in my font, I'm going to set it to white and then bold. And maybe I'll make it like 12 points, something a bit bigger. And then align it to the right. Click on the losing mark on the rows. And you'll see on the left hand side in our format, it automatically switched to that field. So we're going to do a similar process. Let's make a 12 point and bold and red. And then in the alignment, set it to the right. Lastly, choose the winning percent field. In the font, let's make that maybe a black, size 12, and bold, and then align it to the right. OK, so we're getting pretty close. I'm going to now hover in between the columns, and I'm going to drag these over to make the columns smaller. Something like that looks pretty good. What I don't like now is that I have so much space above and below these bars. But if I edit my axis and I try to put in a decimal, let's say minus 1.5, Tableau won't accept that. OK, it says it's an invalid number. And that's because if you click on the data type next to the win-loss field, you'll see it's a whole number. Let's change that to a decimal. And it looks like for some reason our colors changed, so let's fix that. Let's go back into Edit Colors. Set our negative to red and our positive to blue. I don't know what happened there. OK, so now I'm going to edit the axis. And I'm going to choose Custom. And let's say I want to go from minus 1.25. And you have to give it a second until Tableau catches up. And then 1.25. OK, there we go. So that looks a bit better to me. We can now shrink up the rows a bit more. Right click on the axis and uncheck Show Header. Right click in the view and choose Format. I'm going to go to my Lines option. In my grid lines, I'm going to turn them on and then back off. I'll turn my zero lines off. Go to my borders. And I'm going to remove my row dividers and my column dividers. Now, it can be hard to tell which category is which as you scroll to the right. So to fix that, I'm going to go to the shading option. In the row banding, I'm going to leave the colors the way they are. I'm going to reduce the level as far as it goes and increase the band size by one tick. And there we go. So now we have these nice little stripes going across the view. Lastly, you're going to want to clean up your tooltips. The easiest way to do that is first remove each of the fields you don't want in the tooltip. So right click on the winning mark field and uncheck include in tooltip. Same thing for losing marks and same thing for winning percentage. OK, so now when you hover over the marks, it doesn't really have that much context. So what might be useful is to give this a bit more context. I'm going to drag the profit field to the detail shelf. And now when I hover over, I see the subcategory, the month, and the profit. OK, so it looks like there's a few more fields I can get rid of. I'm going to right click on the win-loss field on the rows and uncheck include in tooltip. And on the color shelf, right click win-loss and uncheck include in tooltip. Now we want to clean up our tooltips a bit more. Click on the tooltip, and this is how I like to format them. I'm going to just keep the field category, put a couple spaces, and then maybe a vertical line, and choose my month field. Untick including command buttons. Untick allow selection by category. Click on OK. And there you go. You now have your win-loss spark line. This is super useful for understanding simple patterns of whether you're performing well or performing bad. I hope you found that useful. Have a good day.